<laughs> All right, what's going on, guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. And today, I have some absolutely massive news to share with you guys. So for the longest time, we've all asked for Bandai to just give us some kind of new mode in this game, right? Whether it's PvP or PvE, some kind of co-op mode, just anything, anything new to make this game a little bit more interesting, a little bit more fun for us long-term players to play, right? And as it turns out, Bandai has been listening to us this entire time and our prayers have been answered and starting tomorrow, officially, there will be a brand new game mode on both the global and JP versions of the game. And it's something that I don't think anybody really saw coming, but it's definitely very, very welcome in my opinion. And this new mode is gonna be a brand new kart racing mode, similar to, I wanna say Mario Kart. So kind of think of this as like Dragon Ball Mario Kart, which just sounds like the best thing in the world to me. I am so freaking hyped for it, and uh, huge props, huge credit to Bandai and Akatsuki for all the time, all the effort it must have taken to create this completely brand new mode, because it's going to be completely different from anything we've ever seen in Dokkan, complete departure from the standard bubble popping you know, gameplay that we're accustomed to, that we know and love. Instead, this is going to be a full-fledged kart racing experience. And it's just crazy. So thank you, Bandai, for all the all the hard work, all the effort. We really appreciate you. And without further ado, let's check out this mode that we're about to get. It says, on April 1st, Wednesday, the new racing mode, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Race, will become available in Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. And initially, we're starting with 10 racers. We can use the Youth Goku, the Youth Bulma, Master Roshi, Oolong, Yamcha, Mercenary Tao, Gohan, Vegeta, Frieza, and Officer Krillin. And it says, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the 10 racers in the Dokkan race. So just off the top of my head, I think my go-to will either be Officer Krillin or probably Goku. I feel like a lot of people are probably going to use Goku. I mean, obviously it depends on how they play, so I'll decide for sure once this mode actually comes out. But just for now... I'm probably gonna go with my boy Krillin or my boy Goku. And what else does it say? Okay, it says, in the new mode, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Race, you can compete in races using characters from the Dragon Ball series. Sounds amazing. So I'm guessing that even though we're starting with only 10 racers, they're gonna add to that roster pretty quickly. And eventually we're gonna have a full list of like maybe 30, 40 racers to choose from. And what else? Take each racer's trait and personality into consideration to find one that best suits your racing style. First hand information on the featured racers will be revealed in this announcement. So when they say featured racers, I'm thinking maybe there's gonna be like a racer banner where we can pull for these racers and uh, hopefully the rates are not too bad. Hopefully it doesn't cost too many stones to actually summon these guys, but um, we're most likely gonna have to summon for them, unfortunately. But I mean, it is a gacha game, kinda expect it, so no surprises there. And let's see what these guys are all about. So we're starting with the Goku on his flying Nimbus, and he looks like a very, very balanced character here. Acceleration, medium, speed, medium, but very, very high handling. So he's gonna be really easy to control, probably a good choice for newer players or just beginners to kart racing games. And uh, rarity is very high as well. So I'm guessing he's gonna be like the first like LR style or LR rarity racer. So I guess initially, like just from the start, we're getting an LR, which I guess makes sense. I mean, Bandai needs to make their money, so I get it. And uh, yeah, he's gonna be a good choice, I think, for a lot of new players, and just gonna be a very balanced cart to use. Uh, but of course, high rarity, so he's gonna be hard to pull, so good luck to everybody. Going for Goku and Nimbus, a mechanical cloud that only good kids can ride on. There we go. Okay, next up we have Frieza in his hover chair, and this dude does not seem as good as Goku, but still a very balanced character here. High acceleration, so you're probably going to be able to reach your maximum speed fairly quickly, but then your max speed is not going to be super high, and your handling is just like okay, and uh, mobility is okay as well. So, I mean, obviously not as good as the Goku, but still seems like a good cart to use. Probably going to be a little bit more difficult to handle, so 
I would say this guy is for like your intermediate players, some people that have been playing maybe Mario Kart a little bit at least and have some experience playing these kind of games. And it says here, an amazing vehicle that allows one to move freely even in space, nice. Next up we have Mercenary Tao and his pole. And this dude is like, just like, he's gonna be crazy. Like he's gonna be insane to control. I think gonna be falling off the track all the time because he has no handling. And I don't know what the cost thing is all about. Oh, I mean, maybe he's gonna be like our rarity character because he has low cost, so he's gonna be easy to get. Or maybe we can buy these guys in the Baba Shop. So he's gonna be like a cheap Baba Shop character. Something like that. I don't know. Of course, a lot of details still up in the air. We're just guessing at this point. But low cost, low handling, but super, super high, like maximum acceleration and almost maximum speed as well. So if you guys are really good at these style of games, then you want to go for this guy because you're going to be zooming through the map. But uh, probably not great for beginners. Probably not great for people that don't have a lot of kart racing experience. And it says here, a high speed vehicle created from an ordinary pull. Alright, next up, Master Roshi and Turtle. And uh, as you can see, this is a very, very unique character here. We have no acceleration, no speed, but we do have a little bit of handling and a lot of age. So as you guys know, Master Roshi, super old. I'm assuming that Turtle is super old as well. And um, I mean, given that, even though they have no acceleration and no speed, they have a lot of experience, a lot of wisdom. So I'm guessing maybe when you're on the track, like this character will give you hints for where the, the shortcuts are on the track, right? So you can take those shortcuts and make up for some of the lack of acceleration, <laughs> lack of speed. So, um, I mean, it's going to be an interesting pick. I don't see a lot of people using this guy, using Roshi, even though I love him. Just not a great pick overall. Doesn't seem like a very, very good choice. But uh, if you want an interesting challenge, then maybe that's your pick. It might be like a fun, you know, meme to use for a little while, but most likely most people will want to use either Frieza or Goku from the beginning. And uh, what is it here? Uh, the older, the wiser, show them the tenacity of the elderly. Okay. And it says many other distinctive characters will also be available. So I think those are all the characters we get information for at the moment. So we don't have any, any info for the six other ones. Maybe that would be a future news release or something like that. I don't really know at the moment, but uh, yeah, out of all these, you definitely want to go for the Goku, but as you can see, high rarity. So I'm assuming he's not going to be that easy to get, so uh, definitely get your stones ready, guys. Maybe if you have some extra stones that you can spare from your five-year anniversary fund, put it towards these racers, this racing banner, and uh, try to pull yourself a Goku, man, because he seems really good. Okay, so let's see what else this news release has to tell us. Okay, coming soon, check the live broadcast of the exhibition race at news. Interesting. So before Dragon Ball Z Dokkan race is released, there will be an exhibition race, which all the racers will compete in from March 31st to March or April 1st. The progress of the race will be updated every three hours via in-game announcements. Don't miss out on the live broadcast. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this is just the first news release. And uh, over the course of the next few hours, we'll be getting updates on this exhibition race to see who ends up winning. And uh, my money is definitely on the Goku. I'll just say that right now. Okay, what else do we have here? Uh, caution, event times, no on battle, listening to Pacific time, okay. And uh, hope you playing, continue playing uh, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle and stay tuned for Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Race. Yo, if they keep implementing new features like this out of the blue, I will definitely, definitely continue enjoying Dokkan Battle. But that's all the information I have for you guys right now. Obviously a huge surprise to everybody, huge surprise to me. I came into the game today just expecting some news about Android 13, some news about maybe the next EZA, which is uh, gonna be Super Vegito most likely. But uh, they dropped this bomb on, bomb on us, and I don't really know how to feel right now. I'm just really, really happy. I'm just really, really excited. I can't wait for this kart racing mode. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys, how you guys feel about it. Did you see this coming? Or are you as blown away by this uh, crazy news as I am? All right, and I mean, until more information comes out about Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Race, that's gonna be today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are amazing. And, uh, you know, I'll keep you updated, man. Whenever we get information about new characters, new racers, um, new information about the actual mode itself. Yo, tomorrow for sure, a stream on the channel 
for this new mode. We're gonna try to pull our boy Goku and uh, take him on the track, take him for a spin, and uh, have some fun. Alright, so stay tuned for that stream as well. But that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Um, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out. <laughs> Happy April Fools, guys.